Last week's Ethereum call played out exactly after breaking out above this here falling wedge pattern. Since then, we dropped to the structure support right at this intersection, looked to be on our way back up. However, things are not quite looking as they were before. We have some conflicting signals from our indicators, so we're going to need to take a deep dive into where Ethereum is heading next. In this video, I'm going to give you my perspective on Ethereum and show you exactly where I think it's heading next. Before we get started, though, our members are going to want to watch this video, a new crypto forecast video where Travis showed he just sold all of his Riot stock and are now hedging in Bitcoin. You cannot afford to miss this update. It's going to be really important. Everyone needs to be paying attention to this because this is going to be one of the most important updates of this month. So if you don't have a membership yet, go ahead and grab it at the links in the description below. More on that later, but for now, let's check out Ethereum. Taking you over to the tradeconfident.io webpage. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to go down to the Ethereum metrics. And the first metric we're looking at is the Ethereum emotional index. And at this short amount of time here, we have managed to drop from excited all the way down into anxious territory where we currently sit on the emotional index. Most often when we fall into anxious territory, like right here, multiple times back here, this is where we're seeing moves back up in the market. And personally, I'm not expecting any different. Even if the move up is short lived, it is going to be a move up in my opinion coming up next. And this is backed up by the Ethereum volatility breakout detector. Currently, we are still very near high volatility. We've been there pretty much since last Friday. We saw a ton of volatility over the weekend for multiple cryptocurrencies. And this comes after we're seeing pretty drastic moves in both directions. Now, volatility is decreasing at the moment, but I do still expect a move up here, as shown by the Ethereum whale smart money metric. Right now, whales are leaning towards long trade sentiment right here with an orange bar to the upside. This is not a very big orange bar, and it's not usually until we reach around 600 to 800 on this metric that we're really seeing big moves up. But long trade sentiment is still long trade sentiment, so I am expecting a little bit of a move up for now. Next up is going to be the Ethereum major support and resistance levels. We are bouncing between $1,785 as structure support and $2,020 as structure resistance. And personally, I think we're going to maintain that for some time. I will be looking for a move up to $2,020 as I previously talked about over the past couple of weeks. Next up is the Ethereum long versus short trades. This is one of the more bullish things I've seen today. And this is because Ethereum has just seen an increase in long trades. I know it's very subtle, but there is a move up here, which is partially what contributed to this move up right here. As long as this continues and long trades continue moving into the market while short trades either stay the same or decrease, this is where we're likely to see the big moves coming for Ethereum. This is exactly what I'm looking for as we look at the Ethereum data daily trade scanner. Now we are directly in the middle right here in the area that we've been seeing strong sell, sells and buy signals. Personally, I think whichever one comes next is going to dictate the direction of Ethereum. If we get a buy signal as we saw it back here, I think this is going to result in moves up. However, if we see a sell signal, I think this will result in the drop that I've personally been fearing. I think a buy signal and a move up is more likely, but you're going to want to stay updated in order to do that, in order to keep track of all of these trading metrics every single day on Ethereum and 20 coins total. And of course, not to mention the brand new future forecast video that just came out here. You can grab our membership at the links in the description down below. Just go ahead and scroll down, click show more, and the membership will be the very first link. Go ahead and click that, and it'll bring you to our webpage. We're currently 27 wins, zero losses in our scalping trades. All you got to do is go up to subscribe, go ahead and click that. It'll give you a name and email to fill out. Go ahead and fill that out. And personally, I recommend the full access for $59 a month as this gives you access to 20 coins worth of metrics, scalping trade calls, morning brew overview and members only future forecast content. All that and many more if you go ahead and click choose. And with that, let's check out the live charts. Here we are back on the one day time frame for Ethereum using the TC top and bottom finder price versus well money flow and trend exhaustion indicators. And right now we're seeing major divergence between the price versus well money flow and the trend exhaustion. Price versus well money flow has been trending down at the same time as the price has dropped. This is exactly what everyone should be expecting where well money goes, the price is likely to go too. And that is exactly why we track the price versus well money flow. However, the trend exhaustion is actually rising in that time. We got a small decrease here, but just as of recently, right at this bottom where we intersected, this is where we're seeing a move back up. As price versus well money flow is falling around the 40 range, trend exhaustion has reached its innermost top red section. Most often, this is where we're gonna begin to really look for those moves down. Okay, so we have divergence and with that, a little bit of uncertainty on the one day time frame, but if if we look at the four hour time frame here, we're seeing exactly the same signals. Price versus well money flow is showing well money is moving into the market as of this candle right here. We bounced off of structure support and have begun moving up. And if whale money continues moving into the market, this is just going to push the trend exhaustion into its top red territory as well. So less of a divergence here, 
but it's also showing that we're more likely to begin moving down soon and this is not good this could show a breakout to the downside on ethereum back on the one day time frame though a breakdown would be very very difficult to see we have major major structure support that has been maintained for over two months now playing out on ethereum and if we test that and break below i think it's going to be catastrophic and because of that because of so much weight on the downside to keep it up i think it's more likely we're going to bounce upwards especially if whale money begins to reverse its point and begin moving back into the market where whale money goes again that's where the price is likely to go well, money is showing we are oversold soon, and because of that, we're likely to start buying in and moving money back into the market, and in turn, we'll likely move the price up as well. Most of the metrics are showing long trades coming in and bullish sentiment in general, and that too is where I'm looking for moves up in the market. If we do move up, the first structure resistance I'm looking at is at $1,932, and if we break past that within the next couple of weeks, I think we could hit $2,020. Currently, I'm sitting at bullish, but I will admit things are a little bit uncertain. I will be tracking all three of these indicators religiously every single weekday here but if you want to get access to these indicators yourself it's going to be really important to pay attention to if whale money moves into the market here we're going to see trend exhaustion top out and whenever we see both of those at the top this is where we're likely to move down and that once these both match up this is where i'm looking for the next move down in crypto so you're going to want to pay attention to that if you want to get access to all three of these indicators i can get them to you for up to 400 dollars off right now in order to do that all you got to do is click the indicator link in the description down below just go ahead and scroll down click show more and the indicators are the second link go ahead and click that it'll bring you to our store page where you're going to want to click i want this right here this is the indicator bundle pack and it includes nine indicators for you to check out all you're going to want to do is fill out your information right here go ahead and click pay and it'll offer you the tc top and bottom finder our flagship indicator for $400 off $349 instead of the regular $749 click add to cart you are now the proud owner of all 11 of trade confidence indicators for $400 off make sure your information is correct click pay right here and you are good to go with that I'm just looking for whales to begin moving money into the market and once both the price versus well money flow and the trend exhaustion is high especially if we see a sell signal at either the $1932 or $2020 structure resistances once we see all of those that's where I'm looking for the next move down in ethereum with that thanks so much for watching trade safe trade confident and i will see you in the next video